In Peppa's home, Daddy Pig is very excited. He's got a surprise for the family and he can't wait to tell them. Peppa is watching Super Potato on the TV. Mummy Pig is playing Happy Mrs. Chicken on the computer. And George is in his room playing with Mr. Dinosaur. Daddy Pig calls the family and they come to meet him in the kitchen. Daddy Pig tells the family that they are going on holiday. It looks like everyone is excited. The family rush to pack their suitcases. Peppa puts her favourite dresses in the suitcase. George thinks Mr. Dinosaur would like to ride in the aeroplane with him. Mummy Pig thinks she'll take her sun hat. Daddy Pig is going to take his camera. Daddy Pig brings the cases downstairs and loads them into the car. Come on Pepper and George, we don't want to miss our plane, calls Mummy Pig. Family jump into the car and ride to the airport. The luggage is loaded into the plane as Pepper and her family climb aboard. The door is closed and the plane prepares to take off. With a rumble and a whoosh, the plane soars up into the air. And with a the plane lands on the runway. Daddy Pig has another surprise for the family. Ta-da! He cries out. A camper van! The family are going on a camping holiday. They climb inside and off they go. On the road and off to adventure. Daddy Pig spots a nice clearing that will be perfect for a campsite. He pulls the camper van over, into the clearing, and begins to set up camp. Mummy Pig starts the barbecue. Daddy Pig pulls out the benches, and Pepper and George get on their bicycles and go for a ride in the forest. Mummy Pig calls everyone for dinner and the family settle down to eat. As the day turns into night, Daddy Pig suggests that it's time for bed. But where are Pepper and George? They're bouncing up and down on the bed. But Daddy Pig tells them that's not where they're sleeping. He tells Pepper and George to follow him. Tent. Daddy Pig put up a tent for Pepper and George to sleep in. How exciting! The two wriggle into their tent and snuggle down into their sleeping bags for a well-deserved sleep, ready for another day's adventures. Today, Pepper is helping out Dr. Brown Bear in the Mobile Medical Centre. Pepper is giving Teddy an X-ray. Oh no, there's an emergency. Someone has hurt themselves at the park. Pepper and Dr. Brown Bear quickly jump into the ambulance and drive off to the park. The children see the ambulance arrive and rush over to Pepper and Dr. Brown Bear. Everyone had been playing at the park. George had been playing in the sandpit. Candy Cat had been enjoying the slide. Susie Sheep had been feeding the ducks. Emily Elephant and Danny Dog had been swinging on the swings when Danny fell off and hurt himself. Oh dear, says Dr. Brown Bear, we'd best give you an x-ray. 
In a moment, the ambulance folds out into the medical centre. Nurse Pepper helps Dr. Brown Bear take Danny to the x-ray machine. Danny lies on a bed and Dr. Brown Bear starts the machine. Danny looks worried, but Pepper calms him down. The children wait to see if Danny is okay. Rebecca Rabbit measures Gerald. He's very tall. <laughs> Dr. Brown Bear checks Danny's x-ray. Good news! You're going to be just fine! <laughs> What's that sound? It's Police Officer Panda in his police car coming to see if everyone's okay. Everything is under control, Dr. Brown Bear tells him. Perhaps an ice cream will make everyone feel better. The children rush to Miss Rabbit in the ice cream van. Come on, Pepper and George, time to go home, calls Mummy Pig. Peppa arrives home and she and George give Daddy Pig a big hug. After a bath, it's time to get into pyjamas and climb into bed. What an exciting day! Rebecca Rabbit, Susie Sheep and Zoe Zebra are looking for Peppa. Peppa told them to meet them near the big yellow box, but she isn't there. The box suddenly starts to wobble and shake. Susie spots that the box is moving. Zoe knocks on the box and wonders if someone's inside. Rebecca looks a bit nervous. Surprise! laughs Peppa. Susie asks Peppa what the big yellow box is. It's Peppa's secret surprise. Following Peppa, she leads them to some enormous presents. Rebecca, Zoe and Susie are very excited. Peppa suggests they open the boxes. <laughs> Zoe's found a surprise bag. Rebecca's found one too. Zoe Zebra's found a party hat. Rebecca's found some fairy wings. Peppa wonders what else is in the boxes. Peppa finds a glittery sparkly dress. Rebecca has her own sparkly dress too. Zoe Zebra has found the glittery cloak and she thinks it will look great with Peppa's dress. Susie Sheep pulls a long roll of stickers out of a drawer. Peppa's friends decide to decorate their party hats. Peppa throws a small box down. She wonders if there's a present inside. Susie, Rebecca and Zoe quickly go back to searching the drawers and three more boxes are found. A present for everyone! Rebecca suggests that they decorate the presents with stickers and gems. Carefully, Peppa and her friends place stickers and gems on their gifts to each other. After exchanging their gifts, Peppa and her friends open their presents. Zoe has a rubber duck. Rebecca has a hairbrush. Susie has got a bag. But Peppa's present has gone missing. Poor Peppa. Just then, Daddy Pig arrives to collect Peppa. Daddy Pig finds a present on the floor and wonders who it's for. <laughs> well, that was a very surprising day.
holiday. Pepper and George are going on holiday. They are packing their bags. You can't pack everything. But we need to take all our toys, Daddy. <laughs> Just take the important ones. OK. I'll take Teddy and George can take... Dinosaur. <laughs> Mummy Pig is packing a big bag for the holiday. Wow! That's a lot of stuff, Mummy Pig. Are you sure we need it all? Yes, it's all very important. OK. It is Susie Sheep. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play? I can't play today, Susie. I'm going on holiday. Oh, where are you going? I don't know. Somewhere where there's holidays. <laughs> that sounds nice. <laughs> Granny and Grandpa, why are you here? We're here for Goldie the fish. We're looking after her while you're on holiday. Here's Goldie. Don't feed her too much, Granny. OK, Peppa. <coughs> it is Mr Bull in his taxi. He is taking Peppa and her family to the airport. <gasps> Hello, Daddy Pig. Let me take that bag for you. <coughs> Whoa! <coughs> That's heavy. Are you sure you need everything in here? Yes, it's all very important. Bye! Bye! Bye-bye! This is the airport. Goodbye! <gasps> Have a lovely holiday. Tickets, please. Here they are. Any bags? Yes. I'm afraid this one's a bit heavy. Don't worry. Just pop it on the scales. <laughs> Anything valuable in it? No. Any more? Yes. <laughs> you can take those little bags on the plane with you. Just join the queue over there. This is the X-ray machine. What's this, Daddy? It's a machine that looks inside things. Ooh! Put your bags on here, please. Look, it's my bag with Teddy inside. Dinosaur. <laughs> That's magic. This is the aeroplane that will take Pepper and her family on holiday. Airplane! Yeah! George loves aeroplanes. Welcome aboard. We hope you enjoy your flight with us today. Can I sit next to the window? <laughs> of course, Pepper. <laughs> yes, George, you can sit next to a window too. <laughs> this is Captain Emergency speaking. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Captain, Captain Emergency. Emergency! Then let's go! Teddy, they're flying. What can you see out of the window, Peppa? It's all cloudy and rainy. Ooh, now it's sunny. That's because we're on top of the clouds. The plane is flying higher and higher. Oh, are we flying up to the sun? No, but we are going somewhere sunny. Pepper and her family are flying through the sky on their way to a sunny holiday. <laughs> the camper van. Pepper and George are very excited today. They are going on holiday. Oh, where's Daddy? He's bringing a secret surprise. Beep, beep. Beep. What's that? It's a camper van. We've borrowed it for our holiday. This camper van has everything. This button works the sink. 
Wow! And this button works the TV. <laughs> what does this button do? I'm not sure. Maybe don't press it until we know. Is everybody ready to go on holiday? Yes, yes Mummy Pig! Then let's go! <laughs> We're going on holiday in a camper van. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, this map is a bit tricky. Daddy, we don't want to get lost. Don't worry, Pepper. I'm an expert at map reading. Oh, that's strange. Are we lost? Uh, yes. It's Grandad Dog with Danny Dog. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Danny. We're lost. Lost? Is your sat-nav broken? Sat-nav? You're driving a camper van T3200. Sat-nav comes as standard. Welcome to the car of the future. Ah, so that's what that button does. Where are we going today? The camper van is talking. Clever, isn't it? The computer voice helps you find your way. But how does it know where we want to go? You tell it. Uh, hello, Mrs Camper Van. Hello. We're going on holiday. Can you tell us the way? Proceed on the current road in a straight line. Thanks for your help, Grandad Dog. You're welcome. Have a lovely holiday. We're going on holiday in a camper van. <laughs> <laughs> danger, danger. Oil is low. What's oil? Oil helps engines to run smoothly. Will the oil run out? No. These warnings always give you plenty of time. Oil is gone. Oh, dear. Luckily, I've got a spare can of oil. Well done, Daddy Pig. We simply pour the oil into the engine and... Oh. What's wrong? There's nothing in here. The engine's gone. It's Mummy Sheep with Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. We've lost our engine. Lost your engine? Yes. It's completely disappeared. I'd like to help, but I don't know a thing about engines. I'm probably just being silly. This looks a bit like an engine. Ah, yes. Well spotted, Mummy Sheep. The camper van has its engine at the back. There. That should be enough oil. Thank you, Mummy Sheep. You're welcome. Have a lovely holiday. Are we nearly there yet? Just up the next hill. You have reached your destination. Hooray! Time for bed. Where will we sleep? Mummy Pig and I will sleep on this bed. Ooh! And you two will sleep upstairs. But there isn't an upstairs. Oh, oh, watch this. The camper van roof is lifting up. The camper van is just like our little house. <laughs> While we're on holiday, it is our little house. <laughs> Good night, my little piggies. Good night. Camping holiday. Peppa's family are on holiday in their camper van. <laughs> Good morning, my little piggies. Good, Good morning, morning, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. <laughs> I love camping. Since we're in the countryside, I thought we could spend the day looking at nature. Good idea, Mummy Pig. Let's watch a nature programme. One of the wonders of nature, birds. How lovely. <coughs> shush, shush, little birdie. We can't hear our TV. Oh, Daddy Pig, there's no point being on a camping holiday and just watching TV. We can do that at home. Uh, good thinking, Mummy Pig. There are lots of fun places we can visit. There's Tree World. What's Tree World? 
Tree World is a big forest full of trees. It sounds a bit boring. Or there's Potato City. What's Potato City? There's a tour of the potato fields ending with a potato tasting. Sounds interesting. Or there's Duckland. What's Duckland? It's a wide river full of ducks. Duckland! <coughs> Let's go to Duckland! <coughs> Peppa and George love ducks. How do we get to Duckland? The camper van can guide us. Hello. Where are we going today? Duckland, please. Follow the road ahead in a straight line. We're going, We're going to, to Duckland duck in a camper van. Welcome to Duckland. <laughs> How many tickets, please? Two adults and two children. Enjoy the ducks! Where are the ducks? Maybe they're on holiday. Let's have our picnic lunch. <laughs> the ducks always turn up when... when... we have picnics. <laughs> Peppa and George love picnics. <laughs> Look, it's the ducks. <laughs> Stop, Daddy. We need bread for the ducks. <laughs> All right. Hello, Mrs. Duck. Here come more ducks. All our brothers and sisters are here. And here come more ducks. It's the Granny and Grandpa ducks. And here are all the aunties and uncles. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the last of our picnic gone. Ducks, say thank you to Daddy Pig. <laughs> ho, ho! You're most welcome. <laughs> I love Duckland. <laughs> it is time to go home. I wonder what's the shortest way home. Drive straight ahead into the river. Oh, are you sure? Yes. Drive into the river. But we can't drive in the river. Yes. It's talking nonsense. Please press the blue button. The camper van is driving into the river. <laughs> Our camper van has turned into a bun. I wasn't quite expecting that. Welcome to the car of the future. Look, it's Grandad Dog and Danny Dog. Ahoy there, Daddy Pig! Uh, ahoy there! Beep, beep! Sailing on the river Drive up the next hill. You have reached your destination. We're, We're home! home. Thank you for a lovely holiday, Mrs. Campervan. Ho, ho, you're most welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice going on holiday, but it's nicer to be back in our own little house. Good night, my little piggies. Good night. It is a lovely sunny day, and Pepper and George are riding their bicycles. <laughs> That's a fine pumpkin, Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig is very proud of his pumpkin. Pumpkins are the only thing I can grow. Probably because I love pumpkin pie. Come on, George. Danny, Susie, Rebecca. Pepper and her friends Danny Dog, Susie Sheep and Rebecca Rabbit are riding their bicycles. George is riding his tricycle. He's going so slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's race to Daddy Pig's pumpkin. If we race to Daddy's pumpkin, we have to be very careful not to bump into it. <laughs> Daddy would be very sad if the pumpkin got broken. Don't worry, Pepper. Race you! <laughs> Peppa and her friends are racing to Daddy Pig's pumpkin. Hey, watch out for my pumpkin! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, look out! Daddy's pumpkin! Ah! Sorry, Daddy. 
Look at George, he's going so slowly. <laughs> George is still riding a baby bike. Whoa. Yours is a baby bike too, Peppa. You've still got stabilizers. I can ride without my stabilizers. <laughs> me too. And me. Whoa, whoa. Let's ride up the hill again. Whoa. Are you coming, Peppa? No, I think I'll stay here. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Peppa wishes she did not have stabilizers on her bicycle. <laughs> Daddy, I don't want stabilizers anymore. Do you think you can ride without them? Yes! All right, Pepper. Let's take them off. Daddy Pig is taking the stabilizers off Pepper's bicycle. Are you sure you want to ride without stabilizers? Yes! You've never done it before. I can do it. I can, I can. Ah. <laughs> it's not funny. Riding without stabilizers is not easy. Would you like some help, Peppa? Yes, please, Daddy. All right. Ready, steady, go! Don't let go, Daddy. Don't worry. I've got you. You're doing really well, Peppa. Hold on, Daddy. <laughs> Just keep pedalling. Peppa is riding on her own without stabilizers. <laughs> You've been cycling on your own for ages. Have I? You're really very good at it. Am I? Oh, I can do it. Look at me, look at me. I can ride my bike properly. <coughs> Daddy, Susie, Rebecca, look. I don't need my stabilizers anymore. <coughs> Look at me! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Race you to Daddy's pumpkin! <laughs> Peppa, look out! My pumpkin! I'm going to win! Peppa isn't looking where she is going. <laughs> oh dear. Peppa has squashed Daddy Pig's pumpkin. Sorry I squashed your pumpkin, Daddy. Never mind the pumpkin. The important thing is that you are OK. In future, you really must look where you are going. I promise I will, Daddy. Good. Anyway, now the pumpkin is broken, I can make it into pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie! And because Daddy Pig's pumpkin is so big, there will be enough pumpkin pie for everyone. Hooray! <laughs> camping. Pepper and her family are going camping. I love camping. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> Pepper, George, this is the tent I had when I was a little boy. Daddy, how are you going to make that into a tent? Don't worry, Peppa. I'm an expert at camping. <laughs> Mummy Pig, put the tent on the poles, please. That's it. Easy as pie. Ooh. Do these pegs do anything? Of course. I forgot about the pegs. The pegs hold the tent up. There. <laughs> the tent is a bit little. It was big enough for me when I was a boy, but it does look a bit small now. That's because you've grown a bit since you were a boy, Daddy Pig. And your tummy has grown the most of all. <laughs> oh, talking of tummies, we should cook supper. Yes, yes. First, we have to collect sticks to make a fire. Yippee! Pepper and George are helping Daddy Pig collect sticks for the campfire. George, I'll pick up the sticks and you can carry them. <laughs> Collecting sticks is fun. <laughs> Good. That's enough sticks. That's a splendid campfire. Now I'll light it. Here are the matches. Oh, oh we don't need matches. Daddy, how can you light it without matches? 
I'm going to make fire the old way by simply rubbing these two sticks together. Daddy Pig is rubbing the two sticks together to light the campfire. Where is the fire, Daddy? Nearly there. Hooray! Oh, easy as pie. <laughs> <laughs> now we can heat up the tomato soup. Ah, listen to the sounds of nature. What is that sound? That is the sound of crickets chirping. What is that? That's an owl. Look, there it is. Wow! And what's that noise? Oh, I'm not sure. It's Daddy's tummy. <laughs> <laughs> My tummy rumbling is one of the best sounds of nature. It means it's time to eat. I love tomato soup. So do I. <laughs> oh, there's another one of Daddy Pig's sounds of nature. Uh, eh? What? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, children, into the tent. It's bedtime. We won't all fit in. The tent is too little. It will be fine. In you go. Move further in, Mummy Pig. Daddy, you're too big for the tent. Never mind. I'd rather sleep outside anyway. Good night, Daddy Pig. Good night, Daddy. Night, night. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper and George are sleeping in the tent. Daddy Pig is sleeping outside, under the stars. Ah, I love camping. Sleeping in the open air with the stars above me. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. <laughs> it is morning. Daddy, it was lovely and cosy in the tent. Oh, where's Daddy? Daddy Pig has gone. Poor Daddy Pig. He must have been cold and wet. And now where is he? What's that sound? It sounds like snoring. <laughs> Daddy Pig! What? Daddy, you're safe! <laughs> of course I'm safe. I'm an expert at camping. I slept in the car. <laughs> Silly Daddy. <laughs> I love camping. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her friends are playing at Rebecca Rabbit's house. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. <laughs> we'll all hide and Pepper can find us. Okay. One, two. Everyone must find a hiding three, place before Pepper counts four. to ten. Danny and Candy are hiding in the branches of a little tree. Zoe, Pedro, and Rebecca are hiding behind a fence. Susie and Emily are hiding behind a bush. Nine, ten. Where's your not? Here I come. <laughs> I know where you are. Oh. <laughs> oh. Pepper cannot find anyone. <gasps> this is impossible. Freddy Fox has come to play. Hello, Freddy. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. What are you doing? We're playing hide and seek. But I can't find anyone. Shall I find them for you? You can try, but it's impossible. Watch this. <laughs> Found you. Oh, hello, hello Freddy. Freddy. Ha ha, there you are. Oh. Both. Oh. Freddy Fox has found everyone. How did you do that? I'm good at smelling. What's smelling got to do with it? I can find you by sniffing your smell. <laughs> I'm not smelly. I had a bath last night. I know. You smell nice. Oh. <laughs> I could even find you with my eyes closed. Go on, then. <laughs> find Susie with your eyes closed. Easy. Hide, Susie. One, two, three. Susie is looking for somewhere to hide. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I 
come. Freddy is looking for Susie with his eyes closed. He is sniffing where Susie's sheep has walked. Round the tree, behind the little bush, and back up the hill. Found you. Oh, <laughs> all thanks to my nose. It's a super nose. Yes, it is. Has everything got a smell? Oh, yes. Everything has a different smell. What do I smell of? <laughs> you smell of flowers and Wellington boots. <laughs> <laughs> what do I smell of? You smell of wet grass and biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> what do I smell of? Bananas and jam. <laughs> what do I smell of? Milk and fish fingers. <laughs> what do I smell of? Pedro, you smell of toothpaste. Oh. What's your favourite smell? Eggs. What is the worst thing you've ever smelled? Blue cheese. Pooey! <laughs> <laughs> it's nearly dinner time. How do you know? I can smell carrot soup. <laughs> I can smell carrot soup too. And, and me. me. Dinner's ready. Come and get your carrot soup. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is enjoying Mummy Rabbit's carrot soup. This soup is yummy. Who can that be? Mr Fox has come to take Freddy home. Mmm, oh, I can smell dinner. Oh, Mr Fox. Hello. Hello, Mummy Rabbit. Hello, Dad. I've just had my dinner down a rabbit hole. Good lad. And can you guess what's for pudding? <laughs> Smells nice. I'd say strawberry jelly. That's right. Mr Fox loves smelling things. Mm. Everyone loves smelling things. <laughs> <laughs> Santa's Grotto. It is Christmas Eve. <laughs> Hands up, who wants to go and see Father Christmas? <laughs> Not quite that far, Peppa. But Father Christmas lives at the North Pole. Lucky for us, he's got a grotto at the Christmas fair. Peppa and George have come to visit Santa's grotto. Hello, everyone. Hello. All aboard the elf train. This way to Santa's grotto. <laughs> What are you asking Father Christmas for? I don't know. What are you asking for? I would like a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. I'll ask for that too. How does Father Christmas remember what toys everybody wants? He makes a list. His sleigh must be very fast to go around the whole world in one night. It's a super sleigh! Father Christmas is really old. He's hundreds of years old. Even older than my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Santa's Grotto! Ooh. Ho, ho, ho! Hello, everyone. Hello, Father Christmas. Have you all been good? Yes. Yeah. Have you all kept your bedrooms tidy? Yes. Have you? Oh, 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 of course. Now, come and tell me what you'd like for Christmas. Can I have a football, please? A xylophone. Tiddlywinks. A magic set, please. Racing car. <laughs> Bouncy ball. Boing, boing. A twain, please. A toy train. Not a Toy train? A real train. One I can drive with real passengers. Oh, I'll see what I can do. Is that everyone? We haven't seen you yet. I am sorry. What is your name? I'm Peppa Pig. We've met before. Ah, yes. Nice to see you again, Peppa. What would you like for Christmas? I would like a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. Please. 
Um, the same for me, please. Very good. You do know where I live, don't you? Oh, yes. How old are you? Oh, I'm hundreds of years old. I told you. <laughs> Goodbye, Father <laughs> Christmas. Don't forget to leave me a mince pie and... And a drink. We know. And a carrot for the reindeer. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Peppa and her family are driving back from the Christmas fair. Daddy, why have we got our bags in the car? We're spending Christmas at Granny and Grandpa's house. But Father Christmas won't know where we are. Don't worry, Peppa. Father Christmas knows everything. Granny Pig, it's nearly Christmas. Yes, and I've got a very important job for you. Stir the Christmas pudding and make a wish. Pepper and George are making a wish. Racing car. Oh, don't tell me what it is. <laughs> Here's the mince pie and a drink for Father Christmas. And a carrot for the reindeer. <laughs> Who can that be at this time of night? We're not buying anything. Merry, joyful greetings, festive, happy cheer. Carol singers, snow is falling gently, Christmas time. Oh, Merry Christmas. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. This used to be my bedroom when I was a little piggy. Father Christmas knows where Granny and Grandpa live, doesn't he? Oh, yes. He's been here many times before. Good night, Pepper. Good night, George. Pepper and George have fallen asleep. When they wake up, it will be Christmas Day. Santa's visit. It is very early on Christmas morning. Peppa and her family are staying at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. George, wake up. <coughs> Santa's bean. <laughs> Bubble mix. <laughs> Comics. And tangerines. <laughs> Hey, what? It's too early, Peppa. Go and say Happy Christmas to Granny and Grandpa. <laughs> Granny, Grandpa! Ah! Don't panic! All hands on deck! It's Christmas! It's three o'clock in the morning. But Santa's been. Can we see if he's still here? No, Santa's not here. Look. The carrot, drink and mince pie have gone. He's only left crumbs. Yes, Santa likes a good mince pie. And there are big presents under the tree. <sniffs> I asked Santa for a doll. Can we open them now? We will open the big presents after Christmas lunch. Oh, goody. Pepper and her family are having Christmas lunch. Let's pull the crackers. And party trumpets. <laughs> and jokes. What wobbles in the sky? I don't know. A jellycopter. Hmm. <laughs> 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 this Christmas pudding is delicious. Peppa and George helped me make it. We did the stirring. Did you make a wish, Peppa? Yes. I wished for... Don't tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's open the presents. Yippee! This one is for George. <laughs> it is a racing car set. <laughs> this looks a bit complicated. Let me see. This goes here, and that goes there, and this goes there. Let's race! Ready, steady, go! <sighs> Daddy and Grandpa are enjoying playing racing cars. Isn't that George's present? <laughs> I think George is quite happy playing with the box. <laughs> <laughs> this is your present, Daddy Pig. Ah, socks. And I've got socks. 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 <laughs> so, the last present must be for... Me! I asked Santa for a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. Oh, Birdsey. Birdsey. That present is for Polly Parrot. But it was the last one. 
Santa has forgotten me. Hello? <laughs> Can I talk to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. Did you get your doll? No. I got mine. It cries and laughs and closes its eyes and everything. Santa's giving you my doll. No. The label says for Susie Sheep. <laughs> then Santa has forgotten me. Ho, ho, ho! Santa is on his way home. That's the last of this year's toys delivered. Oh, what's this at the bottom of my sack? Santa can't have forgotten you. I have been a good piggy, haven't I? Ho, ho, ho! Santa! Uh, hello. He came down our chimney. Of course he did, Granny. Here's your present, Peppa. Sorry it's a bit late. <laughs> my dog! Thank you, Santa. Would you like some Christmas pudding? George and I stirred it and made wishes. Mmm, yummy. And I wish that Santa would visit us on Christmas Day. And you did. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> Potatoes Christmas show. It is Christmas time, and Pepper and her playgroup are going to the theatre to see Mr. Potato's Christmas show. We're here. <laughs> Look, it's the Christmas vegetable family. Mr. Potato, Mrs. Carrot, Sweet Cranberry, and Little Sprouts. Here are your tickets. Find the seat with your number on it. Here's my seat. Number five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Quickly now, children. The show is about to begin. Um, Madame Gazelle, I need the toilet. Oh, Pedro. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Thank you. Quickly now, Pedro. I've never been to the theatre before. It's exciting, isn't it? Sorry. Uh, thank you. Shh, children. Everyone quiet now. What's that music? The show is starting. Oh, sorry, everyone. It is not the start of the show. It is Madame Gazelle's phone ringing. Wow! Whose phone is that? That really is the show starting. Welcome to the Mr. Potato's Christmas Show, where the magic of vegetables never ends. Ooh. Hello, children. I am Mr. Potato. This is Mrs. Carrot. Here is Sweet Cranberry. And here is everyone's favorite Christmas vegetable, Little Sprout. <laughs> <laughs> Has Little Sprout gone? Little Sprout, where are you? He's lost. Oh. Can you help us find him, boys and girls? Yes! <laughs> if you see him, boys and girls, shout out, There's Little Sprout! There's Little Sprout! That's it. When you see him, shout like that. There he is! He's behind you! Where? There! Behind you! I can't see him. They're not very good at looking, are they? <laughs> there you are, you cheeky little sprout. I'm the magic fairy carrot. Look, children, I can fly. There's a string lifting her up. I can grant you one wish. What do you wish for? I wish we had a Christmas tree. Your wish is my command. Ooh. Now we can sing our Christmas song. Would you like to hear it, boys and girls? Yes! Sweet little sprout on the Christmas tree. Potatoes, carrots and cranberries. It's a very 
a special Christmas with all our friends. Well, the magic of vegetables never ends. That's the end. Goodbye, children. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas, everybody. That was a bit quick. Wait. There's one more surprise. A very important person has come to see you all. Ho, ho, ho. Can you guess who it is? Ho, ho, ho. It's the Queen. It's Father Christmas. Hooray! Hello, children. Have you all been good? Yes. Have you all been cleaning your teeth? Yes! Have you kept your bedrooms tidy? Uh... Jolly good! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Now, let's all sing our Christmas song. Yes! <laughs> Pepper and her family are flying to another country for a holiday. We hope you have enjoyed your flight. Please fasten your seatbelts. This is Captain Emergency speaking. We are about to land in Italy. Oh, Italy. That sounds nice. The aeroplane has landed. Hooray! <laughs> oh, dear. Pepper has left Teddy on the aeroplane. Now we need a car to drive to our holiday house. Here is the place to borrow cars. Hello. Buongiorno. Come posso aiutare una così bella signora? In Italy, people speak Italian. Oh, um, we need a car. Non capisco. Let me handle this. I'm an expert at talking. <clears throat> We need a car. Uovo. Not eggs. A car. Um, no. Not flowers. No. Brim, brim. <laughs> ah, auto. Hey, hey. Brim, brim, beep, beep. Well done, George. <laughs> this bag is heavy. Oh. Are you sure we need everything in here, Mummy Pig? Yes. It's all very important. Are we going to get lost like we always do? <laughs> no, Peppa. The sat-nav will tell us the way. Benvenuto all'auto del futuro. In Italy, the sat-nav talks in Italian. Proseguire sulla... Maybe we don't need the sat-nav. Uh, let's go this way. Remember, Daddy Pig, this is another country. They may drive differently here. Oh, oh, driving is driving, Mummy Pig. It can't be that different. Strada, porco! Driving in Italy is very different to driving at home. Hello! Yes, we're on holiday. Daddy, why are they beeping their horns at us? I expect they're saying hello. Can we say hello back? Of course we can. Hello! Everyone is so friendly here. <laughs> Pepper and her family are on their way to their holiday house. Ah, we're almost there. Yes, I can feel myself relaxing already. Teddy! Hey, what? We have to go back for Teddy. Uh. Oh dear, it is a policeman. Hello, officer. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but I promise I won't do it again. Good day. I am returning this young bear. He was left on the aeroplane. Oh, thank you. Teddy! Have a lovely holiday. Here we are! Pepper and her family have arrived at their holiday house. <laughs> what have you got in this bag, Mummy Pig? It's all important stuff for our holiday. A lovely plant, our computer, tinned food, hot water bottles, some winter clothes in case it gets a bit chilly, the telephone... Let's ring Granny and Grandpa! 
Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Pepper is on holiday. Are you sure we're feeding Goldie enough? I'll just feed her a pinch more. Hello? Hello, Granny. Can I speak to Goldie, please? It's Pepper for you. I miss you too, Goldie. <laughs> <sighs> it has been a long day. Now it is time for bed. Good night, my little piggies. Pepper and George are fast asleep in their holiday house. Holiday in the sun. It is the first morning of Pepper and her family's holiday in Italy. Ah, holiday. Daddy Pig is up bright and early. I'll just go for a little walk. Good morning, Mr. Pig. I see you have found the swimming pool. This is Signor Goat. It is his job to look after the holiday house. <laughs> Daddy fell in the water. It's not funny. It is quite funny, Daddy. Oh, oh. I suppose it is a bit funny. This is my daughter. Hello, I'm Gabriella Goat. I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> Tell us if you need anything at all. We'd like to do some sightseeing. The village is very pretty. I will show you. OK. I'll just change out of these wet clothes. I don't look like a tourist, do I? You look perfect. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig. Then let's go. <laughs> this is Gabriella's village. <laughs> Here is the shop of my auntie. Can I send a postcard? Who is it for? A goldfish. A goldfish? Maybe a postcard of the sea. Yes. Goldie the fish likes water. Bongo drums, carpets, garden gnomes. Who buys all this rubbish? Tourists. Oh, Hello. Buongiorno. Mummy Pig is buying lots of things to take home. Mummy Pig, we haven't got room for all this in our suitcase. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. They sell suitcases too. This is the village cafe. Ciao, Gabriela. My uncle makes very good pizza. You eat pizza in Italy? Pizza is Italian food. Oh, goody. I like pizza. A little bit of tomato, a little bit of cheese, into the oven and... Into my tummy. <laughs> Maybe we'll let them cook first, no? OK. Pepper, let's write the postcard to your goldfish. Yes. I miss her very much. To Goldie. Wish you were here. Love and kisses, Pepper. <laughs> you can post the card here. Goodbye, postcard. Fly home quickly. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Mmm, yummy. Pepper loves pizza. Everybody loves pizza. Did you like that, Teddy? Yes, it was delicious. Magnifico, Uncle Goat. There will always be a special place for your pizza in my tummy. Thank you. Ciao. Goodbye. Oh, dear. Pepper has left Teddy behind at the cafe. What a lovely, relaxing holiday we're having. Oh, dear. It's the police. Leave the talking to me. Hello, officer. I don't know what I did, but I won't do it again. Mr Pig, you're Teddy. Teddy! Thank you. Just doing my job, signora. Pepper and her family have arrived back at their holiday house. Time for bed. Can we ring Goldie the fish, Mummy? OK. Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Pepper is on holiday. I do hope we're feeding Goldie enough. Hello? Hello, Grandpa. Is Goldie all right? Goldie is fine. I sent her a postcard today. Has it arrived? Oh, not yet, but I'm sure it will get here soon. Uh, night 
night, Grandpa. Night, night, Peppa. <sighs> Peppa and George are fast asleep in their holiday house. Thank you.